Hey everyone, welcome back to another Stride Workout of the Week. As always, my name is Evan. Today we'll be recapping last week's winners for the weekly Stride Workout of the Week contest where you can win a free month of Stride membership simply by running that week's Stride Workout of the Week and tagging us on social media when you post it using the hashtag StrideWow. That's hashtag S-T-R-Y-D. W O W. Here is last week's winners for the 30 second shuttle, a very fun short distance workout where we had 30 seconds on at a pretty high intensity with a 30 second recovery with some moderate running tempo sections in between. Let's jump into the stride workout builder now to build this week's workout. This week is going to be called Rhythm Breaker. And we'll start with a 10 minute warm up at 70 to 80% of your stride auto calculated critical power or your auto CP. Then we'll jump into a three minute active block at 96 to 100% of your stride auto CP. Again, when we have a workout that requires a little bit faster running, we want to make sure you're ready and warmed up before we start the actual workout portion. So this three minute section is just to give you a little bit of extra warm up before we head into the start of the workout. After that, we'll do a two minute recovery at 70 to 80% of your stride auto calculated critical power. Then we'll run three repeats of 20 seconds at 102 to 106% of your auto CP with a 40 second recovery at 70 to 80%. These are strides, S-T-R-I-D-E-S, not S-T-R-Y-D-S. But these are meant to get your legs moving a little bit quicker, meant to make you feel a little bit more relaxed when we start out running at that little bit higher intensity. We'll take another short recovery of two minutes before jumping into the workout. This week, the Rhythm Breaker is meant to make use of the three-step repeats, and it's meant to have a lot of oscillating or different intensity levels throughout one sort of set. We will have four sets total, but each set is going to be comprised of three different intensity levels that each last 400 meters with a two minute recovery before we jump into the next one. So we are going to start off with a 400 meter section, the first part of our three step repeat, a 400 meter section at 104 to 106% of your stride auto CP. This is gonna be pretty intense. It is going to feel pretty hard, but after that little bit more aggressive warm up, you should feel really good to go as we start the workout. You're then going to go immediately into a 400 meter section. This is going to be recovery during this repeat, but it is not gonna feel like you're recovering too much. You're gonna jump into that 400 meter section at 94 to 96% of your stride auto CP. And then we're going to go right back up to a last 400 meter section at 99 to 101% of your stride auto CP. So we'll have a first initial very intense 400 meter section. We'll bring it down a little bit and get you recovering right around maybe your half marathon intensity. It'll be about 95% of your auto CP. Then we'll jump right back up to a last 100% of your auto CP for the last 400 meter section. That is going to comprise one set and we'll have a two minute recovery at 70 to 80% after that set. By default, this workout is going to have four sets overall. It is going to be a pretty intense workout, so you should know that you can adjust the recovery to maybe bump it out to three minutes or four minutes. We can reduce the overall intensity or reduce the overall length as well. One strategy might be taking everything down by about 2% for the high and low ranges or we could adjust the length of each repeat. We could change them to 300 meters total instead of 400. So using the Stride Workout Builder really shows how flexible the workout can be, and I can use power-based training to adjust things based on your ability and how you feel you can tackle the workout and how you can accomplish the workout. As we get through the entire workout, you want to make sure that you are running easy on the recovery because we want to make sure that this specific intensity that we're running during the quality portions, the three 400 meter repeats back to back to back, are quality. We want to hit those intensity targets right on. We hope you enjoy this workout after you get through that fourth 
set, you will have a 10 minute cooldown at 70 to 80% of your auto CP. Make sure you tag us after you run the Rhythm Breaker for your chance to win a free month of Stride membership. You can tag us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook using the hashtag StrideWow. That's hashtag S-T-R-Y-D. W-O-W for your chance to win a free month of Stride membership. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.